Thank you all for tuning in today. My name is Carlos Hernandez. I'm one of the client service representatives here at the Retirement Group. And for those that are not familiar with the Retirement Group, the Retirement Group is an independent financial advising firm. We're not a part of Kaiser Permanente. We're not affiliated, endorsed, or sponsored by the company. We are a separate firm. But unlike most financial planning firms out there, um, we have been working with KP employees for many, many years now, which puts us in a unique position to be able to provide more specific and tailored advice, as well as advice surrounding your company benefits, such as the 401k, pension plan, TSA accounts, plan B accounts, and as well as retiree medical benefits. All things that we think we need to know in order to give you prudence advice and help you build a comprehensive retirement plan in which we actually do provide a complimentary retirement plan at a no charge, no fee basis. At the end of today's presentation, I'll put up some links on how you can take advantage of that. Now, for today's agenda, we're gonna be talking about interest rates. And when I say interest rates, the interest rates that I'm referring to are the minimum present value segment rates, which are the rates that are used to calculate your pension lump sum value. This is gonna be specific to the pension lump sum value, in which these rates are used to calculate the present value of that lump sum amount given future payments, which those future payments would be the single life annuity payment option, which the single life annuity payment option, that value is used to derive all of your other pension payments that are available to you. Now, these segment rates are based off of high quality corporate bond yields with maturities that correspond to the timing of your expected pension payment. That's why you see these three different segment rates on the middle graph on the screen. Each one of these segments or each one of these rates uh, pertain to a specific period in your retirement. For the first segment, that would pertain to the first five years of your retirement. So years one through five. The second segment would pertain to the next 15 years into your retirement. So years five through 20. And then the second segment would pertain to years 20 and above into your retirement. So depending on your age, when you commence your benefit would determine which one of these segments would have the most weight to your pension calculation. Now, as I mentioned before, these rates are specifically used for your lump sum payment option. They are not used to calculate your single life annuity option or any of your annuity options that you have available. So we wanna make sure you get that clear as that is a common miss interpretation of these rates and these rates do move on a month-to-month -month basis they're published every month by the IRS website you know depending on um, interest rate volatility depending on fiscal policy depending on inflation expectations and overall market risk determine these rates but if you look at the um, chart on the middle of the on the graph there just in this year we've seen these rates steadily go up and continuing to go up which could mean an indication of the next couple months we might see a slight, slightly higher increase to these segment rates which something that is unique to kaiser the way that they use these rates in your pension calculation is that they use a two-month look back so for those that are retiring this month, the month of May, the rates that are used for your specific pension lump sum calculation would be March's interest rates. And for those that are gonna be retiring next month in June, the interest rates that would pertain to your specific lump sum calculation would be April's interest rates, which those rates have not come out yet. Uh, we expect them to come out more towards mid-May, in which we could expect for those rates uh, to be published by the IRS, in which tune in because we'll be doing another segment then. Now, one crucial thing to take away
from these segment rates are how they specifically affect the pension lump sum value. Now, the pension lump sum value and these interest rates have an inverse relationship. As you see uh, the graph up above, that kind of teeter-totter. Um, so when these interest rates go up, the pension lump sum value goes down. They have an inverse relationship with each other. And the rule of thumb is that for every 1% of interest rates that go up, translates to about an average of a 10% decrease in that lump sum value. And if you notice the middle chart um, on the screen, these interest rates have been going up quite a bit this year. So keep in mind for those that are looking to retire in the near future to make sure you plan out your retirement date. It could mean saving a few thousands of dollars in your pension lump sum amount. And if you're not aware of these rules and changes on how these interest rates affect your pension lump sum amount, make sure you connect with a retirement specialist to make sure you're making the right choices, not only for yourself, but as well as your family, as they are a huge part of this overall retirement process. And like I said, we do provide a complimentary analysis uh, in which we go over your retirement outlook. We could compare different retirement dates to make sure you're optimizing your pension payment. And as well as if you're in a situation where you're contemplating to take the lump sum or the annuity, the analysis will clarify which option is best suited for you and your situation. You know, I would hate for you guys to be one of these statistics here, but 74% of Americans over the age of 50 do not have a written plan. We just think that is unbelievable and to be quite honest, shouldn't even be allowed. So please connect with the retirement specialist to make sure you're optimizing your pension payout and all of your other benefits given to you by Kaiser and as well as making the right choices. It doesn't necessarily have to be with um, an advisor here at the retirement group, but make sure you connect with the financial uh, specialist that focuses on retirement planning and in specific has been working with Kaiser Permanente employees and knows the pension plan. There are a lot of nuances in the plan, especially you know, depending on what part of the country you work in, uh, what union you belong to, what business unit you belong to, and as well as your line of work. All those things will mean you will have nuances between your pension plans. And I said, like I said, we'd be more than happy to walk you through those nuances here at the retirement group, either myself or somebody from my team can help you and guide you through that process. You can set up some time by either calling us, emailing us, or scanning these QR codes right here. My name is Carlos Hernandez. I do look forward to connecting with you to make sure you're on track to meet your retirement goals and have a successful retirement. And lastly, I do just want to disclose again that we are not part of Kaiser Permanente. Although our firm has been working with KP employees for many, many years now, and we are very familiar with the ins and outs of the pension plans, we are not a part of Kaiser Permanente. We're not affiliated, endorsed, or sponsored by the company. I look forward to seeing you guys in our next session. Thank you.